right, guys, here we are to react to the trailer for the movie Bushwick. Oh, it's uh, Batista. It, uh, this, this, uh, Is that Batista? It, yeah. Batista. Yeah. This looks like uh, like war-torn Bosnia from the commercial or something, but uh, it's a weird semi-American flag, the so I don't know what this actually is. The new civil uh, war has begun. Do you think it starts with Trump's election <laughs> and then Nazis rallying with tiki torches? I don't know. That's what happens. All, all my previous statements are based on the two thumbnails for the trailer and a clip. Uh, so, no, nothing about this movie, obviously. No, we don't know that. Uh, Brittany Snow, she's, she's semi-famous. Somebody. She was in a couple of TV shows. Um, like what? Uh, American Dream, I think I it was actually. called. Actually, yeah. I don't remember what the show was called. It was something where, like, like during the time of American Bandstand, she played, like, an American teenager. Okay. That, uh, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know. Let's find out! There you go. Okay. It looks interesting enough. I still don't know why, uh... Like I'd like to know uh, why martial law was declared. What happened? Why are we at war? Uh, presumably American on American here. So they play that a little bit, right? Texas has seceded from the Union, putting up resistance. They declare martial law, not just here, but everywhere. But it seemed to be like they went down, in, you know, into the subway and time traveled weeks, months, years into the future, where all this would have happened. Because why are you in the subway when you know martial law could have be- like they don't just do that and all of a sudden, like right, something builds up to that. I don't know. So it feels weird, the, like, and like this probably would have we you know would have benefited from like a 1989 type intro in a world where this happens and that happens Something. and then this thing. Because I really am not sure how she could be unaware of the state of the of like the country, and 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 I assume her man gets yoked and then she's like with Dave yeah. Batista and all that. And, stuff. and that part looks fine. But. There's a moment where a soldier is captured. It looks like and it's like we weren't anticipating this many guns. And I was like, well, if the government was actually attacking us, don't they have, like, almost a legitimate number of, like, well, this is how many legal guns there are. <laughs> we, we have an assumption. Because you have to register every gun you own. So, like, I understand they can't account for the unregistered guns. And in New York, that's probably a lot. Yeah. But you, you have to know there's at least a, some guns. I don't know what that comment even, like, I don't even know. Like, what are they, and, like, what are, what are they trying to do to these people that they are resisting? Are they trying to evacuate them to, like, camps? Like, what's happening here? What's, like, the threat? Are That's they, what I want to know. Are, are they just breaking down people's doors to shoot them in Brooklyn? That's a bad strategy. And what is the end game there? That's what I'm saying. We'll just kill everyone. Why? Because martial law were declared. What? <laughs> this is New York's version of Red Dawn. It says, uh, Red Dawn, we were attacked by the Cubans and the, yep. the, the North Koreans and the Russians. Yeah. Uh, this is who are we attacked by. I don't understand. So, like, this again, like... Russia te- leaving implies that... Like they're leaving America because America fucked up something. Well, like the uh, Russia, uh, the Texas. Like I was just going to seamlessly say the thing about Texas and all that. It sounds like yeah, it sounds like ripped from the headlines. We got redneck zombies, you know, redneck zombies, <laughs> redneck Nazis versus like uh, people on the whatevers. But that doesn't explain why martial law is. A, I don't know. This premise seems completely met. Lo- yeah, you know, Texas like can't take on all of America. Like I don't know what the plan here is. Well, Texas could secede. Texas can easily secede. But like they're the only state that can actually secede. <laughs> but, but they the, can't attack us. No, but the, but like. Like, and they can't attack Brooklyn. Like, what the? I don't, I don't understand what's going on in this movie. However, putting all that aside, the part with Batista being like a survivalist, I assume veteran of some sort, uh-huh. and like, you know, helping this ragtag group go from place to place, you know, like a man of few words to play off of his strengths, uh-huh. or whatever the fuck. I thought it looked cool and good and, yeah. and looks fine. I just cannot get over that the movie's premise does not. And maybe, you know, you'd like, like we'll watch the movie, and it'll be like, oh, okay, fine. It's like, I, I think it would really benefit this trailer just to tell you why or what is happening. I think they're trying to play up like that you're in the middle of the chaos and like you wouldn't know what, you know what was going on. So why should you know? I like, can't imagine not knowing almost within seconds of so that's, something happening. Okay, so that's the whole thing. Is like back in back in the Red Dawn times, you wouldn't know because like a siren would just start going off and then dudes would parachute into your schoolyard or whatever the fuck, right? But here with the internet, with cell phones and all that shit, right? You'd probably know. And also, again, like this shit has stuff that builds up to it. Like, you would know, oh, shit, did that shit from wherever fucking boil over into the... Like, you would have a very clear idea that shit was escalating and, like, getting bad uh, for at least 24, 48, 72 hours, like, before something like this happened. And Even would, just minutes. It'd be like, people yeah. are... There are many planes. Many planes. Bad uh, things. 
Yeah, and you would not be like strolling through because th the the intro makes it look like they're in the subway, and then they go like, "Hey, where'd everybody go?" And 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 then they like you know come up the stairs, and it's like Dawn of the Dead, where like the world has gone crazy instantly or whatever yeah. the fuck, which is not. No how one this else works. was even on the subway with them, it seemed. Because they because they all because they all had the good sense to go home. Maybe these characters are Amish. Maybe maybe they don't they don't <laughs> watch the news. I don't uh, know. Uh, I'm intrigued enough to know what, what happened in this, so I, yeah. I, I will say it did its job as a trailer, making me want to want to see it to even understand uh, the, the the smallest amount of uh, the thumbs are up. The thumbs yeah, are th up. Thumbs up on this one. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Bushwick. Uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Don't die on a fire, and we'll see you next time.